Okay, Megan. All right, well, I've had some dramas. Yeah, I've, um, as I probably mentioned before, I had a problem with the clutch and I've had a problem with it. The uh, synchro it won't go from third back to second. And I looked up, you know, price of parts and things like that. And I decided to, um, yeah, strip down my swing arm gearbox and, uh, you know, if there's any bearings going, which I haven't found any yet, it all seems pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, I'd replace them with new ones, but I'm going to use, or well, hopefully, I'll have to compare it and make sure it's the same, but I used the second gear synchro. Um, I think it is the same because when I was looking up on the parts, they only had the one gear listed, which probably means it's the same right through. Yeah, but anyway, um, firstly the clutch. Okay, this is what happened with that clutch. I don't know if you can actually see that, but that's separating. And you can see if I can find a good example. See the gap in there? And this the plate that's running in between them is actually starting to bend. Yeah, you can see it there. See it's yeah, so um, I'm pretty convinced that that was the problem with the clutch shutter. Yeah, I did have another plate out of the 1300. This is in reasonable shape. Not clean. Yeah, it was attached to a, a flow wheel and pressure plate that rusted out, but well, that'll clean off. The issue is, it's the same inner. The inner here is the same as that, but the outer is much smaller. This is a 180. Whereas that one's a 200. So, so this is off the 13. This is off the 16 that's going into it. And I'm actually going to do something a bit bodgy. Uh, I'm going to stick this one in for the time being. Because I don't have $100 to spare right now to buy a new one. So but it should be okay just for a month or so. And I'll pull it out and put the right one in. You wouldn't. If you were to leave it for any period of time, you'd end up wearing a groove into the flywheel and the pressure plate, and you'd then have to get them ground and or replace them or something. But you know, probably if I was to, you know, Florida trying to do burnouts or something, which I won't be, it'd probably slip. But under normal driving conditions, I don't see a problem with doing that. As I said, other than if I leave it too there long, it would wear into the flow and pressure plate. So, yeah, after we get through Christmas, we will be able to afford to get a new one. And fortunately, on bugs, you know, it's only yeah, half an hour or less to get the engine out. It's not a drama. Yeah, especially being a barger like that. Yeah, it's simply just unbothering pull it out. It's real easy. So, yeah, it was no drama. The second issue I found, um, this is the one out of the swing arm gearbox, which is one I'm going to use. But the uh, other one is considerably worn down. And it was rusted, so it was probably me that wore it down because that was really badly rusted and I cleaned it up with emery, but... I think that's also part of it moving around. Um, I was hoping to replace a bearing on the shaft, but they don't actually have a bearing. They just run straight in the casing. So there isn't really anything you can do about that other than, uh, you know, you can probably bore it out and put a bush in it. But it looks to me like, you know, your, your spigot, Bearing on the back is what keeps it centre anyway, so and the yeah, this bigger bearing um, yeah, in the flywheel appears to be still alright, so 
yeah, we should be good. I'm actually going to keep this as a clutch of lining tool in here, so. Um, oh, the other thing. I watched several videos and nobody showed how to get this out. You know, I had the, uh, the, um, yeah, this is the gear assembly out of the swing arm gearbox. And I had it most of the way out, no dramas. This is a, uh, yeah, full bolt pinion. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But I only discovered by accident that there's actually a stud in here. And I was trying to maneuver it out. I turned it and I noticed it was coming out. It was moving up and that's, yeah, that's how I discovered it's actually held in by, by a stud. Not completely held in, I mean you, you do it up and then you, yeah, you line your teeth up and you, as the gear fits right over there, I think it's associated with the reverse gear or something, but yeah. That fits right over it and keeps it together. So, but yeah, and all you know, watched two or three videos and nobody showed that this was threaded thin. So I only discovered that by accident. Yeah, of how to get that out. So, yeah, yeah. On to the big issue now. I've got greasy hands. I've got a rag here that's nearly as greasy as my hands now. Come out of white. This one, as I said, the pinion and the yeah, bearing is held in by four bolts. And that's easy to get out. This one here is a different setup. This one, as you can see, is a thread. Well, it has this nut. And I couldn't even find the tool to to get this out in Australia yeah and I found a few overseas you know they I think the cheapest was about 160 something American you know, and I'm gonna wait weeks for a friggin tool to get over here I'm too impatient for that I want it going yeah so then I rang the V-dub place in town and uh, they didn't have one. Yeah, I rang two suppliers in in Australia, VW parts. They didn't have them. And then I first I attempted to make my own tool, which didn't work. Yeah, I tried measuring and cutting, and yeah, I didn't get it accurate enough. And considering. Well, this wouldn't have done to do it up anyway, but I might have got it undone. It's supposed to be done up to 150 pound, yeah. But, yeah, I just, I think it was probably around 60, 80 or something pound to undo it, so it wasn't done up to that anyway. And, uh, yeah, this is what I had to do. I made up this bit of pipe. Which I couldn't get it exactly the right size, so I had to cut it and put a clamp around it and pull it in. I welded an old socket that's worn out onto the top of it. And uh, yeah, I set that in place like that. And I welded onto the under the tops of the teeth. You know, like you can, as much as I could see, each one where I could see, and that's how I actually managed to get it out. So, yeah, I'm going to have to cut that off now. Cut that off, clean all the teeth up, and uh, yeah, now that I've actually got it off, I can make a tool. Yeah, I can put it on the bench. I think what I'll be doing. Yeah, so I didn't even get this in and it's sort of, yeah, pretty difficult what's in there. But anyway, yeah, what I'll be doing now, I think, 
is I'm going to find some bar, flat bar tube or something, or flat bar or square steel, the right size, or might, might even have to cut some to fit into it, fit into an each of these teeth, and I'll cut pieces about an inch long. Um, I'll tack this on, just one or two tacks, get them in place, and then I'll lay strips of metal on there and weld them in. Um, uh, the other, for however many it is, it's be like 50 of them or something. Uh, it's going to take a while. And, uh, yeah, then I'll be putting another band around the outside. Over the tops of the pieces so that they can't pull out. And, uh, yeah. Unless, I can figure out how, to, uh, I probably still wouldn't be able to. That gear, one of the gears you can take off. Yeah. And I covered this when I welded this on the I covered the splines with a bit of pipe so it didn't get welding dags on it. That was the narrow one. But that other one there's an issue. And the tool that you can buy has got a cutaway, so you obviously have to turn a little bit. Realign it, turn it, realign it, turn it. But yeah, that is so close that you can see see the grinds. I welded it on and then I got started turning it and the welds were hitting on that gear. So yeah, I had to actually put a small blade, take the guard off my grinder and get in there and actually yeah grind these welds off so I could turn it and fortunately I did hit the case a couple of times but I haven't hit it where the iron goes so yeah we'll get away with that I didn't hit any sealed surface so yeah we're good but yeah of course that's full of shavings now so I have to make sure I wash all that out real well but yeah things you have to do so Anyway, we'll get these, uh, and get on with fixing the synchros now, and pull, pull this apart, and uh, I'll make that other tool, and uh, yeah, I'll do a video, another one, and show you, show you the mode tool. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, thanks for watching. Hit the like, please.